Am I the arsehole? For refusing to punish my son? For the past 14 years, I've been happily married to a woman from the Philippines, with whom I have two children. Ever since I got married my sister Juliet and her husband Mike have been calling my wife a male order bride, sex slave or concubine. For this reason, I'm generally no contact with Juliet and Mike seeing them at family events but trying to avoid interacting with them. My younger sister got married last week and during the ceremony the groom, Robert, was joking with Mike and Juliet about how I was a slaveholder and all that idiocy. I talked to Robert later and he admitted that he was totally going along with it, not just passively listening to what Juliet and Mike were saying. My 11-year-old son overheard it and, as you could imagine, wasn't happy to hear his father accused of enslaving his mother. So he took the figurines off the wedding cake and threw them in the toilet. He did this in front of everybody and then flipped off the bride and groom. Now everyone's asking me how I'm going to punish my son. I told them I don't intend to punish him at all. Yeah, he could have handled it better, and I advised him that next time he should just ask to leave. But I'm not going to punish him. When adults invite a child to their wedding, insult said child, and are too stupid to make sure the child isn't in earshot, they shouldn't be surprised when said child behaves childishly in response to the insult. I figure that since he's only 11 I'll let him get away with it this time, if he's still doing stuff like this at 17 there will be major consequences. Natar. I'd ask when the adults will be getting punished for bullying first. Not the asshole. Take him for pizza and banish your family from those are. Not the asshole. You've been happily married for 14 years, you have kids. And your own family keeps on insulting your wife, your family life, you, and your children. I love your parenting. Your siblings and bills suck, ahys. Not the asshole. Firstly he's your child, what others say doesn't matter. So kudos to you for sticking your ground. Secondly, your child wasn't in the wrong. I think I would have trashed the cake. In another circumstance, he would require some kind of discipline, but definitely not here. A gentle talk about dealing with anger in social situations should be enough. Not the asshole that's racism and your son was pretty much offended. Play stupid games, get your stupid wedding toppers drowned in pee and poo. Lol good for your son. I can't pass judgment on this one. But man. If that isn't a way to fuck around and find out. Not the asshole I'm 30 and I would have done the exact same thing, if not worse, in your son's shoes. Not the asshole, your kid has guts to do that at a wedding. I think your assessment was spot on. Your family is kind of shitty, your poor wife. Nada, but you should cut that part of your family out for good. Not the asshole. But now your kid knows how your family feels. I change avoiding to not a chance of seeing them again. Your kid was on the money with his reaction. Not the asshole. Perhaps, I'm biased, because I, like your children, have a Filipino mom. And if someone insulted both of my parents like that, calling them disgustingly racist and vile things, I'm pretty sure that throwing wedding cake toppers in the toilet would be the most respectful thing I the world that I'd do. Your poor son. And your poor wife. I hope the next thing that you say is that your wife and children are never exposed to these people ever again. Please don't let your kid fight your battles up. Good that you have cut off all the family that make this sort of joke, time to extend it to not attending any function where they will be, or to start reporting them or suing them for slander racism whatever fits the bill. Stop attending things that put your kids at risk of this nonsense. Not the asshole. You should not punish your son, but I think he needs more support than hey, buddy, next time let's just leave. Receiving such gross racism from your own family is really harsh. He reacted very negatively and aggressively, which tells me he doesn't know how to handle it. He could use a couple therapy sessions to sort out his feelings and learn how to react to racist attacks. Sadly, it's probably not the last time he's going to face racism.
Nata you talked with your son about how that wasn't appropriate. Now everyone else should be talking to the adults about how they were inappropriate. Not the asshole. Punish him with ice cream and video games. Natai wouldn't punish him for this specific incident but have a conversation about how words are powerful openly calling them out for being racist before loudly leaving would have been acceptable also. Not the asshole, sounds like you had the right conversation with him. I'd be asking what punishment the family has accepted for their hate speech. Not the asshole. The way your family speaks about your wife is absolutely disgusting. They are holding themselves to a lower standard than they are holding your 11-year-old son. And you should absolutely be no contact with all of these people or at the very least never make your children be around any of your family ever again. Not the asshole one of these days, your family is going to say something stupid to the wrong person and get their SHT kicked in by someone who will not care about the consequences, the fact it hasn't happened yet it is astounding. While I'd say yeah, talk to your son, I can't fault him for his reaction to an insult like that. I am more surprised he didn't go for the family jewels given how hot-blooded most 11-year-olds can be. Not the asshole. You already corrected your son's behavior by telling what to do next time. He is your child so I personally think you and your wife know the best ways to parent him. Not the asshole. Punish him by having a conversation about how to deal with overt racism in the future, but do it over ice cream. Not the asshole. You should talk to him about a better way to have handled that situation. But I wouldn't punish him either. Not the asshole I hope you took your gift back. They had the wedding cake near the toilet. Not the asshole op. With that said I seriously think you need to sit down and have honest talk with your son about words and how powerful they can be. Not the asshole. Those racist stars are lucky you didn't take a swing at them. Bigotry deserves to be put down hard. People are so quick to tell others how to punish and discipline their kids. Does this warrant a conversation with your kid? Totally. His behavior wasn't okay, but neither was his aunt's uncle's. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your son acted his age for an insult to his mom. Cut them off. This is so unbelievable and fake. Good lord. You're the asshole for making up this BS. I'm glad you won't punish your son. I wish I had a spine like that when I was his age. And people can be so shitty, especially your family. Not the asshole. Going forward, I hope you are able to shield your children from your awful siblings and their spouses. Not the asshole. Your kid sounds like a legend. Your family doesn't need to tolerate this kind of treatment, and that includes your children. Not the asshole. Your R relatives were calling his mother a sex slave. Should have kicked one or them in the shin too. Not the asshole you should reward your son for standing up for his family. Not the asshole you're good, as is the kid. Buy him his own cake.